Hey everyone, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an updated what's in my bag video and I'm featuring the same Angela Roy handbag that I had in my video maybe two years ago. So I wanted to share how it's holding up and also what I keep in it now. First things first, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for watching this video. I would love it if you went and checked out some of my other videos and consider subscribing to my channel by hitting the subscribe button below this video. You can also hit the bell notification button right next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my videos. So if you want to see a little update on this Angela Roy handbag that is made out of vegan leather and what I keep inside it, then just keep watching. So like I mentioned, this is an Angela Roy handbag. It is called the Barton Duffel. I will have it linked in the description box below. I believe they still have it. I don't know if it's in stock right now. I think there might be a wait list, but definitely check the link and see what's available. If not, I will have some similar styles from Angela Roy listed below. So I've had this handbag for about two years now. I use it seriously all the time and it is one of my favorite handbags because of the size and the shape. It holds so much stuff, but it's not like overwhelmingly big. I love that it has the short handles as well as a crossbody strap. I usually leave it attached just because I will change up how I wear it throughout the day. I tend to wear pretty much only gold jewelry, so I do really like that the hardware on this bag is gold. I believe it comes in four different colors. I could be wrong, but again, just check the link in the description below. Honestly, if you looked at it, you would think it was brand new because it is in immaculate shape. It is in such good shape like Angela Roy bags are seriously the best. Okay, now let's get into what's on the inside of my bag. As I'm filming this video, where I live, masks are still totally mandatory in indoor spaces. So of course I have a mask in here. I did a partnership with Soul Mask a few months ago. So I just have the green one in my bag. These are made out of recycled materials. So scrap materials that would have ended up in other places. That's what these are made out of. Very comfortable. As eco-friendly as that is, I just added this single wrapped mask that I got from Miniso. It was free when I bought some stuff there. So I figured why not throw it in my bag because I'm with people who sometimes will forget to bring a mask wherever we're going. So this is mostly for someone else's use because I pretty much will always have a mask with me. What I was actually buying at Miniso was this little pouch. I have a couple pouches that I do use in purses and kind of change them out. It's a lot easier than keeping small things just like scattered in your bag, but I didn't have one that was this size and sometimes I carry smaller purses and the pouches that I had wouldn't fit in them. So this is like the perfect little size. It's also like a faux leather material with a little dog. Inside here is where I keep small things like Burt's Bees lip balm, a scrunchie, this little pill organizer for like Rolades and painkillers. I have a couple bobby pins in here. And the other two things that I keep in here, I also actually just got from Mini So. They are these mini like spray bottles. One of them I got for hand sanitizer because again, some of my smaller bags don't fit bigger bottles of hand sanitizer or even like the spray hand sanitizer. So I wanted to just get a tiny travel one and I filled it up with this hand sanitizer that I got from HomeSense. And it's from the Pacific Reef Fill Club. It's Canadian plant-based goods. It's also Leaping Bunny certified, cruelty-free. So that's what's inside this little spray bottle. And the other one is a pump bottle that I put sunscreen in. In case you're curious about what sunscreen I used in here, I have the Bear Republic SPF 50 mineral sunscreen. It's the vanilla cocoa scent. I'm not the biggest fan of this because it does leave a major white cast and can look really weird if you don't blend it out properly. But it's currently the only one that I have at the moment, so that's gonna have to do. And that's it for the little pouch that I have. I am obsessed with gum. I have it in all of my bags. I need to put a new bag of it in my car, but this is my favorite gum. It's the Pure Gum. It's aspartame free. I like the winter green flavor. I feel like it's a strong enough flavor to actually make a difference when you chew gum. It's also gluten-free vegan, and it's 100% xylitol instead of aspartame to like sweeten. Pure Gum is also non-GMO. It's nut and peanut free, Swiss made, which is interesting. I don't think I knew that. <laughs> Soy free and sugar free. So lots of good stuff. 
Love this gum. Another mini thing that I keep in my bag is a mini deodorant. I love mini sized things. They just make your life so much easier. That's my jam. So I got this from, I think, Sephora, maybe. This is the La Vanilla, the healthy deodorant sport Lux formula. There's no aluminum in this. I only use deodorant that is aluminum free. This is super random, but I actually have hot sauce in my bag. I don't even remember where I got this, but it's the Cholula hot sauce brand. And I just have two little packets of hot sauce because you never know if you wanna add hot sauce to something. Because I do switch bags a lot, I like to have a very slim card wallet so that it will fit in everything that I could possibly use as a purse. This one is from Princess Polly. I don't actually recall the brand, but it has this little like plus sign logo on all of the accessories that they have and all of it is like vegan leather. And the other thing that I will keep in a bigger bag is a little coin purse. This one I got from Indigo. It is the Love and Lore brand or line. I don't know who actually makes it, but you can always find them at a Indigo. So this is where I keep some loose change and also some gift cards that I might have leftover from birthdays or Christmas or something. So if I have a bigger bag, I'll take this with me. This is a little earbud case. The brand is called My Tag Longs and they make travel friendly accessories. So this just has a little spot to put my earbuds. I also keep like little wet wipes in here if I need them. I also have a like really little perfume sample by by Rosie Jane. This is the Angie scent. It's very florally and spring and summer appropriate. Really like it. And the last thing I have in my bag is a hand cream from The Body Shop. This is the Warm Vanilla Hand Cream. I think it's from their Christmas collection, but I love the size of their hand creams. They're always like super luxurious and moisturizing. So these are always perfect sizes to keep in your bag and they smell really good too. And that's everything that I keep in my Angela Roy Barton duffel bag. Like I said, I will link this in the description below or a similar style. I have a few Angela Roy handbags and I've been super impressed with every single one. I go back and forth between using all of them throughout the year and they have lasted a very long time and they just always impress me with the quality of these bags too. And give this video a big thumbs up if you like what's in my bag videos. They are super fun and I love to film them. If you wanna see any more in the future, definitely let me know. Tell me how your day is going and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.